Hey there! The amazing Arcus violin bows come in different prices, from around $1,000 up to $8,000. What difference does it make? In this video, concert violinist Gather and I are going to find out. We're going to test the 4 series, 6 series, 8 series and the very best 9 series that I personally use. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Want, want, want. Welcome to Violin Lounge TV. Enjoy my free violin lesson videos, interviews, product reviews, performances, and articles. You've now tried the octagonal S4, S6 and S8. The difference in price is quite big. What do you think is the difference in sound and playing qualities? Well, the S4 for me uh, didn't feel like it's totally finalized. Um, it was not my favorite bow. Uh, whereas S6 uh, feels immediately much more round, the qualities of playing are much more finalized and it produces much nicer tone and uh, the jumping qualities are there so it gives you a nice feel to it um, and of course we have the S8 which gives me the feeling that I'm a soloist that's a nice feeling to have but it's much more expensive so the S8 is double the price of S6 uh, well, this is the choice you have to make, what uh, gives you the qualities you want to pay for. It's a lot of money and a lot of difference between the two bows. <laughs> Arcus S4 bow. Um, 
if it would be my choice, I don't know, I'm not sure. Uh, it's a bow of the light line, so it's much lighter than the machine or the wooden bow. Um, it has the qualities of the lighter bow, so the, the jumping techniques are easier to, to achieve. But uh, is it better? What would I prefer? Uh, it's not the bow of the quality of, for example, S6 or S8. Um, so I think for me it would be more important to have uh, the stability and the quality of tone of either the S6 or S8 or the using series, the C5. I think for that price, I would prefer the using C5 and all its qualities. <laughs> Octagonal. Well, this is where I start liking Arcus bows and see the benefit of the light, uh, lightweight bow. Next to it, this bow has a great balance and qualities, a nice sound to it. I personally prefer a round bow. I kind of a round bow person because I like the stability of it. Um, I like the feeling that I play the bow and not other way around, not the bow plays me. Um, and especially I enjoy the stability when I tend to get nervous and tend to get light-handed. Uh, uh, so this extra stability is very important during the performances. <laughs> what good bow is about. This is Arcus S8, octagonal. It makes me feel like a soloist, so it um, makes me want to play more and more. Really love it.
yes, that's what I'm talking about. Want, want, want. Now you've also experienced the S9, which is the best bow by Arcus and at the same time the most expensive carbon bow out there. What do you think is the difference between this one and the S8? Yes, the different, the major difference is uh, for me the sound. Uh, the S9 sounds like a liquid gold. It has this deep, round, beautiful, rich tone. And uh, the rest of it is just a question of feeling it. It's, it's a matter of trying and playing on it. It, it gives, I don't know, I can, cannot really put it in words. It just gives me this feeling of a soloist, of, of a star. It's, uh, it's just a matter of feeling it, I think. Besides of the price of uh, price difference of three thousand dollars, the feeling in your wallet is a bit less comfortable. Yes, than that's the bow. a bit less comfortable. It's a lot of money for a bow, but next to it, it's a lot of feeling that you get with it. Did you like this video? Then hop on over to my website violinlounge.com for more extensive video masterclasses and articles that I don't share on my YouTube channel.